Welcome back. Joining me now is Haley May with the Rail Park here in Bowling Green. Thank you so much for being here. Yes, thank you for having me. Well, you've got a big event coming up. You're here to talk about the Wine Fest. Yes, we are so excited. It's this Saturday, so we cannot wait. We've been looking forward to it for so long now. So why do we do the Wine Fest? So we partner with the Kentucky Wineries Association to host the big, big Bowling Green Wineries, I mean the big Bowling Green Wine Fest here. And we have about 10 wineries come out this year. And so some like Purple Toad, Traveler Cellar, Bluegrass Vineyards. Oh, wow. and we're gonna have some new ones and some returning ones. So we hope to have a lot of fun with that. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have some craft vendors there and some food trucks and then live music. So we just wanna bring a great event back to Bowling Green for the fifth year now. For the fifth year, okay. I was mm -hmm. going to ask you, you know, how many years has it been going on and is this a big fundraiser for the rail park? Yes, for the rail park and the Kentucky, Kentucky Wineries Association. Okay, so you said crafts, uh, craft vendors will be there? That's yes. That's one of my favorite things. Yes, so okay. we are going to have some craft vendors outside with a variety of different products and homemade goods and things mm -hmm. like that. That's always fun. So tell me about the food trucks. Do What can we expect? Yes, so we do have a variety of food trucks as well. So we have Crave Food Truck. We'll have Hilltopper Creamery inside. Mm -hmm. um, so they're always a big hit with the guest. And then we'll also have Totally Baked and then Bluegrass Bakes for a little sweet treat too. Okay, yeah, we need some sweets, right? Yes. <laughs> and then plenty, will there be wine tasting? Yes, so okay. with your um, general admission ticket, you'll get 10 sampling tickets. So then you can go around to different wineries you know, try different things. They'll have a variety of their wines as well to pick from. The wineries will be telling kind of about each wine. You can talk mm -hmm. to them, check it out, buy bottles if you like. Okay, and now we are showing some really great footage of, of the, the wine fest in the past, and so this looks like a really great event. Yes. And is it is it a one day event or does it go over a weekend? Nope, it's just this Saturday and it's from 12 to six. So, you know, you can come at the beginning or kind of midday, just to, depending on your schedule, mm -hmm. it'll be going on the whole day. We'll have live music the whole day as well. So everyone will be there and we're looking forward to it the whole time. Okay, so what artists do you have? Any artists, are they local artists that are coming to? Yes, and so us? the lineup this year is we'll have Mercy Bell, The Wonderful Nobodies, and then Trevor Martin. Okay, yeah, I've heard Trevor Martin before yes. a few times. So um, yeah, it sounds like you've got a great event coming up. Yes, we are very excited. And how do we get tickets? So you'll go to the historicrailpark.com or if you go to our social media on our post, they'll have a link to the tickets as well. Okay, and ticket prices? So they are $35 for the general admission. We already sold out a VIP this year, unfortunately. Okay. And then we also have $5 driver tickets available. Okay, and what driver tickets? Yes, so we wanted to give that opportunity for, you know, if you still want to attend Wine Fest, but you were going to be a driver, you didn't plan on sampling, and you were just kind of coming there to also enjoy the day, maybe see craft vendors, um, but also we just wanted to provide that kind of as like a discounted price just in case you weren't there to sample the wine. Okay, all right, well that sounds yeah. really great. So what is your favorite thing about the Wine Fest? My favorite thing I think is how we have some wineries that come back and people are so excited for them and it's mm -hmm. kind of something they look forward to every year but then also we kind of filter in some new wineries that kind of get to come to Bowling Green from all over Kentucky and hit a different crowd than maybe usual and you kind of get to make personal relationships and mm -hmm. yeah. All right. My well, part. Haley May with the Historic Rail Park and Train Museum, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Thank you for having me. And um, how do people, there it is right there. I don't have to <laughs> ask you, I can now say it. <laughs> you just call 745-7317 for tickets and info or go to historicrailpark.com. We'll be right back.